Now we have the start of a spatial drawing, but there is only one canvas. In this video, we will use the new parallel projection tool to place more canvases in our scene. I want to add a canvas in the background for the sky. I'm going to stay in drawing mode because I want to face the city and add a sun behind it. I will use this tool with the plus sign to create a new parallel canvas. This allows me to place a canvas directly in front of me that I can position closer or farther away. This is a preview that you can use as reference when you are projecting. It shows you where your canvases are in space and allows you to look at your scene from different points of view. I'll make it large so it's easy to see. This diagram represents our original point of view. It's a helpful way to take a look at your scene from different perspectives while you're projecting. The original view is facing the city, which you can see in the main window here. As I drag my finger up and down, I can see the canvas moving closer and farther away in the preview. When I'm happy with the position of the new canvas, I'll tap Confirm. And now you can see the new canvas in the canvas panel. Right now, we can't see the new canvas because it's transparent, but we know it's positioned in the background. So I'll go into drawing mode, pick my brush and color, and add the sun to the new canvas. Make sure you've selected the new canvas. If I had selected the old canvas, then I would be drawing the sun on the canvas with the city, and that's not what we want. Okay, now we have two canvases in our scene, and we can add a few more. Let's repeat the process and add some clouds in the background. Again, we'll start by facing the city and tapping the new canvas tool. Let's push the new canvas back behind the city near the sun. Tap Confirm and draw in the clouds. And now you can see the new canvas in the canvas panel. It's important to note that the canvases don't need to be parallel like these. They are parallel because I started the projection when I was facing the city, but this does not have to be the case. You can place a canvas from any point of view. Let's say I want to add some birds in the sky. This time, I'll go into viewing mode so I can look at any angle and add a new canvas from here. Again, I can position that canvas closer or farther away from my view. When I tap confirm, I've created the new canvas and I can get started drawing on it. Now you can see the four canvases in the canvas panel. As you can see, it's easy to place a new canvas anywhere in your scene. The key is to find a view you like and then add a new canvas from that point of view. So this covers how to place a new canvas in your scene. In the next video, we'll take a look at how to adjust the position of a canvas that you've already created.